good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully uh, you had a good night's rest, everything going well with you. I'm going to read to you today again from Then Sings My Soul. I've had some folks tell me how much they enjoy uh, the story behind the songs and it's quite easy to read these stories for you and sing this song. This song is Rock of Ages and I know many of you have heard it. Another thing I like about singing from the hymn book is um, I get folks tell me they sing along with me because they are used to uh, singing these songs in church or have sang them through their life. So it gives you an ability to interact with it as well. Rock of Ages. This song was written in 1776. Did you know you were singing songs from that old? <laughs> Sometimes we sing songs that are maybe 20 or 30 years old and we think, wow, that's an old song. But this was written in 1776. On November 4th, 1740, a baby in Farmhand, England was given the formidable name of Augustus Montague Toplady. His father died in a war. His mother spoiled him. His friends thought him sick and neurotic, and his relatives disliked him. But Augustus was in, interested in the Lord. I am now arrived at the age of 11 years, he wrote on his birthday. I praise God I can remember no dreadful crime. To the Lord be the glory. By age 12, he was preaching sermons to whatever would listen. <laughs> At 14, he began writing hymns. At 16, he was soundly converted to Christ while attending a service in a barn. And at 22, he was ordained an Anglican priest. As a staunch Calvinist, he despised John Wesley's Arminian theology and bitterly attacked the great Methodist leader. I believe him to be the most rancorous hater of the gospel system that ever, ap ap that ever appeared on this island, Augustus wrote. Wesley is guilty of satanic shamefulness. He said on another occasion of acting the ignoble part of lurking, shy assassin. In 1776, Augustus wrote an article about God's forgiveness, intending it as a slap at Wesley. He ended his article with an original poem. Rock of Ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. Augustus Toplady died at 38, but his poem outlived him and has even been called the best known, best loved, and most widely useful hymn in the English language. Oddly, it is remarkably similar to something Wesley had written over 30 years before in the preface of a book of hymns for the Lord's Supper. O rock of salvation, rock struck and cleft for me, let these two streams of blood and water which gushed from thy side bring down pardon and holiness into my soul. Perhaps the two men were not as incompatible as they thought. <laughs> and so I, I know many of you have heard of John Wesley, um, and many of you have heard, no doubt, of, of Calvin and John Calvin and Calvinists, but it's amazing to me that even today in this day we live in uh, that people um, struggle to get along with one another as Christians just because they don't see things the same as someone else. And um, they criticize or put down the person to the point where it's almost not Christ-like, period. 
do I believe that there are false doctrines? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I do believe that there are probably a lot of people that say they don't agree, that if they would just put aside some of the things, uh, they would find they agree on a lot more than what they disagree on. And we do know that it is through and by Jesus Christ. That's how we are forgiven. That's how we are saved. And uh, my prayer is today for all of those watching this, you not only find peace and comfort in um, this story and in this song of Rock of Ages, uh, but you find the true peace and comfort in the Rock of Ages. And you understand that other people are looking for that same thing. I, I see today and as I read this story of these two men and how one uh, verbally attacked uh, the other, uh, we see that today. We see it and we think maybe that's something new in this uh, society that we live in today. And, it, and I would say it's not anything that's ever been new. I'd say as long as there have been people around... <laughs> And there's one that's disliked the other and they've talked about each other and and uh, made remarks that weren't nice. And so my prayer is today that you will take this song, Rock of Ages, that you will allow it to speak to your heart. Um, I tell you what, my, my true honest prayer is, is that um, people who claim the name of the Lord would just start acting like him. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. He didn't say, blessed are the Republicans. He didn't say, blessed are the Democrats. He didn't say, blessed are the Libertarians. He didn't say, blessed are the... He said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. You want to know who to live like? Try living like the Lord. Try living like the Lord. Ask Him for help. Ask Him to take you in the cleft of His hand and to hold you and to keep you. Let's give it a shot. I said these glasses are old, these eyes are old, and these words are little in this book, but we'll see what we can do here. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flow of sin, the double pure, save from wrath and make me pure. Could my tears forever flow? Could my zeal no longer know? These for sin could not atone. Thou must save, and thou alone in my hand. No price I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. While I draw this fleeting breath, when mine eyes shall close in death, when I rise to worlds unknown and behold thee on thy throne, rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us, Lord, for a uh, Another day to wake up, to um, see uh, outside, not much of the sun shining yet at this point, but to see uh, your creation, God, to feel the peace that comes in our heart. God, it is amazing to me sometimes that we live in a country full of turmoil and a world full of turmoil, and even living in all of that, there's still peace that can be found thankful uh, that you can hide us in the cleft of your hand god you can speak sweet peace to our heart we love you lord and we thank you for all you do for us in jesus name amen all right um for all you 
friends of ours in Myrtle Beach there. God bless you all. Um, Brother Delbert, uh, Vaughn Allman there for Clyde and Diana, for Miss Wilma, for Miss Barbara, Miss Linnell. Uh, so many folks there. Miss Earlene Saunders. I pray that God blesses you all today for all of our friends and family back here. Um, of course, we don't have... Um, devotion in the morning on here but we do have church in the morning at charity free will baptist and so if you want to tune in 9 30 right here on this uh, facebook page it will be live i'll share it on my page as well or you can come and be with us um there uh, however you like god bless you and have a great saturday